been trying to get a project together uh, with Michael and Paul Booth um, for a good few years now. So when I was putting this project together, um, I knew that I wanted to be Michael and Paul at the kind of core of the project. On piano, uh, there's a guy called Steve Hamilton, who's one of my absolute favourite piano players. Um, and uh, when we had all those four people in place, I thought, right, who am I going to get to play drums? And Clarence was Clarence Penn was the name that kind of kind of kept cropping up between me and Michael and me and Paul Booth. Um, and I'm obviously a massive fan of, of Clarence's playing. You know, he, he plays on some of my favourite records that I've owned for years. So um, I thought, why not? If you don't ask, you never know. So we asked Clarence and they kind of agreed to do it. So that became this quintet. We have an idea of what the songs are like, but each time we play them, they're completely different. There's a lot of different influences coming into each, each of the songs, and you can hear that. So I think that's one of the qualities that each one of the band members bring, and I think that's why Ryan, you know, envisioned that they would be good for the project. He's got all these different skills, which are pretty unique to Ryan. Um, he can scream, with the best big band leaders in the business, literally. One day he'll be featured soloist at the Metropole Orchestra, and then the next day he'll be in a basement, you know, playing free improv with someone. So he's, he's got all these different skills, and it's like how to do that on this record without making it contrived. How to allow Ryan's talents to, to best be presented on this record, and I think we've done it in surprising ways. Mm. The great thing about this band is no matter how I thought they were going to sound, it's definitely exceeded my every expectation of how, how good it was going to be. Um, and everyone's brought a really beautiful energy to it and a really positive spirit to it. 